Well, I, I don't blame him throwing his cue at a few and seeing what comes of it. But he has left the red on. That's the problem. Yellow's not covering. One. It was such a good yellow to keep the break going, but to keep potting difficult balls into the bunch here. Yeah. Great split. Five. He's on a couple of reds, certainly the red to the right corner, but I don't know if anything else was available to him. He deserves to be on something after that shot. Quite a thin red, isn't it? From the overhead, you can see that. Right hand red's quite thin contact, more so than it looks. So through the gap, the other red. Six. It's so amazingly, he's, he's kind of come in between about three or four possible reds that he could have gone for. He is on one, I think, the one to the right, but he's very tight either way. Yeah, that will pot. And definitely get through the potting angle there. If nothing else is available. He's thinking about the possibility of getting on the black from it. Anyway, up the table, he's gone. 11. Tying up the fact that the black could be on to the left corner from certain areas on the right side. Brown ball. See Jawi resolved to go all out on the attack at the start of this frame. Potted a couple of great balls, but 16. the awkward red eluded him and he did leave one for Trump. This is the result. <laughs> and now the two times winner of this event looking to go for the jugular. Twenty-three. Well, he's turned this into a chance to 29. get the match one when CJ we when he went for that red and missed it, he felt that the red was being covered perhaps by the yellow close and Thirty. he would get more chances but it might be that he won't get another shot from here this was the ball he missed nearly fluked it into a different pocket but it came to rest it might have been covered on a different day by the yellow but it just went past it I think he'll look back at that red he missed in the second frame of the evening he'd started quite brilliantly the perfect start making a century off Judge Trump's break and he was in early in the next. And this is the red in question. Came out of the blue, really. When he might have been eyeing five each. And then, of course, it's a very different final. But since then, Trump has very much been in charge. Played superbly. 43. Well, he yeah, has. I mean, this has been an interesting week for Judd because he has played very well when pushed, especially this evening. But I don't think he's played at his best all week. 
you know, he's almost limped through the odd match by just by his determination and his all-round game. Safe in the knowledge that when the good stuff comes along, he's virtually untouchable. And it's just another week of hard work for him, culminating him in being here on final stay and playing some terrific snooker. He can't pop 51. all the balls all the time, and he's found a recipe or a blend that uh, can get him home in early round matches. 36 the lead. Yeah, so taking the pink. See, Joe, we can still win, but not for very long, I don't suspect. This is tournament ball coming up. 57. Didn't win a single ranking event last season, even though he did claim the Masters, and now he's a ball away from his fourth in this campaign already. And there's so many pots have been this evening in particular, right in the center from Judd Trump. He's been ruthless. It's been a great week for Xi Jiawei after the disappointment of the way in which he lost the world semi-final last season. He's got to his first ranking final. He's moved to a career high ranking in the process. But he's gonna fall a little short tonight in the face of the form player. Utterly dedicated to what he achieves on the match table. Judd Trump treats every tournament 65. with equal importance and respect. And he's snaffled yet another one. He has. He can't make a century here. Can reach 99. That's about it. But not that that's a bad break to make. And while he got an eye on centuries. I don't think he's worried. He's, what he's got an eye on tonight is the trophy. And he's about to lift it again. It's been a terrific week here in Berlin and slightly extended tournament has enabled a lot of the best players to be around. And uh, one of the very best has, has won the whole thing again. Nothing like the feeling when you know the job is done. Another trophy has been bagged. It's like the Victory lap for Trump. And stand by all pockets 81. when he's in this mood. 81. The winning machine that is Judd Trump has done it again. It's a record third German Masters title. 